I'll leave it up to you to decide, Greg. What's the other part? <laughs> I don't. It's whatever it is. It are is you good at talking? Are you good at communicating? Do you listen? Um, no, I'm not good at it. I'm good at talking. <laughs> Do you listen? Communicate. Sometimes I pretend yeah. I'm listening, but yeah. it's like, you know, really filtering like noise, you know? It's, it's cool. filtering noise. Well, my friend said to me yesterday, she said that the thing is, she's 100% believes in... Uh, the guy should just worship her and adore her 100% and just be at her. And then she'll be, go the same way, the backward to, to him. She'll be like 100% adoring him and worshiping him and doing everything for him if, if she gets the 100% first. Oh, well, that's come she'll on. Give, that, mm. No, she told me that yesterday. That's a matter of trust, isn't it? Well, I'm saying if, she, if she sees a man giving 100% to her, then she'll give 100% back. But she's got to do it first. She can't do it first. Because she's well, too emotionally uh, vulnerable, right? Because she throws herself vulnerable. into every relationship, and too she's been hurt vulnerable. before, so she's going to hold back. Right. But she'll still give 100% first before I be, before he does, I bet. No, she will give. She wants the man to worship, adore her, love her, cherish her, do what she wants, 100%. And then, no and dude's going to do that now in this modern era. No one. I'm sorry. Why not? It's just the way things are. It's too splintered and too fragmented and too much distraction and too much... Um, well, I think it's a matter of selfishness, isn't it, Dave? What so do you think? Every woman I... Yeah, and there's not the, there's no longer as much of a, the ideal of that you have to meet somebody that you're going to spend your whole life with. Yeah, because, I mean, that's asking too much. No one's like that perfect, yeah. Greg. I mean, you can, you can aspire to do that. Okay, right. that's fine. But, I Talk mean, in, in theory, it's great. But in practice, man, it's going to be a long haul. Well, I, you know, I, I might have been exaggerating a little bit in, in, in our anniversary party. I said that we were 100% emotionally satisfied, Paul and myself. Mm-hmm. And I talked to Beth Lewitsky about it. And Beth said, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what Paul That's says. total fucking bullshit, 100%. It's, it's, like Paul when Paul they, it's like when they asked Mick <laughs> in uh, Gimme Shelter in the Ultima concert in the press conference. They go, uh, uh, would you say you were satisfied, satisfied financially, financially satisfied? Satisfied, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say trying. sexually, definitely, but <laughs> financially uh, trying. Uh, financially trying, yeah. Well, I, I'm just saying, every single woman I talk to about it says that forget about these sex, forget about the romance, forget about the financial thing. That what they really want is to be emotionally satisfied. They want that fourth item, the emotional satisfaction they want. Well, what, 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 do, you, what do you mean what do you, when you say that? What do you mean in terms of emotional? I mean, well, it, it be there for every second for them and their emotions and their feelings. Every second of every day. See, guys can't do that. I mean, I have a, I have problems with that because I don't like whining and complaining. I have a low threshold for that, and that kind of pisses off a lot of the women I know. Well, isn't it just their feelings coming out to, up to the surface and coming spewing out of them though? Yeah, but they can't. Is it really, even, is it really they can't even decipher it themselves a lot of the time. How what? can you? Uh, they can't. They, it just comes out in fragments. And in pieces. I'm not so being. Go that's, ahead. That, that sounds sexist. To that's me. not sexist. Correct. That's real. Is that real? Dave, well, you, in you my experience, that? have you experienced that with women? He lost me there. A no. Bit. Well, maybe you haven't been. I wasn't listening. You date those <laughs> yeah. farm women, you know? Uh, I don't know. You date. Well, those... I think it can be done, and I think it's going to be a you know something that can can change lives. Every woman I've talked to about it loves it. What do you think, Lori? Is it going to work for lesbians? Possibly. Oh, because you're a lesbian. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, I work for lesbians. Right. But I'm just saying so the, re- the reason I'm I'm highlighting the, the heterosexual thing is because there's that whole huge demographic of the heterosexual couples all around the world, billions of them, you know, and men are ignorant, they're stupid, they're horny. Yeah, I can um, agree with all that. That's one right. thing I definitely. Uh, Guilty as charged. Women do like, a lot of times they do like, and I have experiences where they like to have more of a friendship first before the sexual thing. And guys, especially when they're young, tend to be like, you know, I want to fuck. Well, yeah. It goes without saying. Right. And I'm saying. The hormonal. But yet, you might have a guy who's 20 or 30 and wants to fuck, and then you have a girl who's or a woman who's 20 or 30, she, she'd rather have a little bit of a you know friendship going on for, for a few months first. No, least. I think the girls Not still always. enjoy doing the sex as well. I know. No, they do enjoy what I'm saying. But Even uh, without uh, all that baggage attached to it, Greg, I don't know. No, I, but, I, I found that to be. So you don't think the friendship thing matters to women? The Starting friends, out as friends first? Going from, yeah, friends in, some in, into lovers. First. Yeah, some. I mean, you're, gener- you're, you're tar brushing a lot of women with that statement, Greg. Well, I mean, all, all the, almost every woman I know likes the idea of the, of the uh, tantric friendship first. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, you don't. That's what I'm saying. The, guy, the guys don't. Tim. Dave, That's what I'm Dave saying. doesn't. No, Dave. Want, Dave's an emotion. He's a Leo like me. He's an emotional kind of guy too. You're so. an emotional kind of guy. I thought I came, came here to talk about the WNBA. No, <laughs> well, we can't talk about no. sports because of Lori. All right, the Mystics I are going leave. all the way. I can. She go. hates sports. I can leave. 
she's in charge of the content here. We don't talk right. sports. Yeah, you, can, you right. can talk that's sports fine. if you want. So you're talk an emotional sports. kind of guy. Because that's what Tim just said. Oh no, I'm like he says I'm like him. Yeah, he's an emotional kind of guy. Yeah, I can get emotional. I thought you were unemotional. No, I'm not cold. Very, very emotional. I just, I just. To have a low threshold for bullshit sometimes. You know, I really do. And I, yeah. Do you, have you gotten bullshit from women in your life? <laughs> you think? <laughs> of course, I've dished it out as well. I'm, I'm hardly innocent in all this. So it's right? bullshit I against find that hard like to bullshit against I'm, I'm not bullshit innocent. against bullshit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And near to tween shell meat, so I'm just better off, you know, watching, you know, doing whatever. Well, I'm trying watching to... from afar, like good relationships, like you and Paula. Yeah, well, that that's is, how I learn, Greg. Maybe one of these days. I well, don't that's know. why I'm putting all the stuff in the book from me and Paula, and then I'm putting in writing from women in the book, so that it'll, it'll be a, a fully rounded look at what's going on. Now, I did want to ask you this like, now. Okay, let me ask you this now. So you're gonna have a spinoff show about that topic with Gwen Kears, the legendary. No, Gwen I'm gonna Kier? have a video. A like, video. Like a documentary. Really? Yeah, with like 25, 30 women. Oh, that's cool. And she's one of them? She's going to be the first one. How about Beth? Yes. Did she agree? Yes. <laughs> which which Beth? <laughs> Both. Both of them? Both. All right. Oh, Beth Kennedy. Beth Mike, Kennedy. Mike. And Lewitsky. That's all right. I'll just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colleen O'Mara and Nancy Parisi. All right. Colleen can go, yeah. All et cetera, et cetera. Nancy's cool. Yeah, oh and, and Nancy likes tantric friendship. She thinks that men and women should have tantric friendship first instead of all this... You know, I want to fuck. Oh no! I'm believe me. I'm <laughs> friends with a lot of people that a lot of women that you know that are just like. I, I mean, I'm, it's not going to go any further than just being the friendship part. But I much more prefer to enjoy the company of hanging out with women than I do with guys. Guys are boring. I'm for the most part. Yeah, I find yeah. women's perspectives a lot more interesting than guys' perspectives in a lot of a lot of matters. I really do. Thank you. Yeah, so well, I mean. Your sister's going to write something for the book, for instance. I just talked. Is to she going to do it on She's the? She's going to write something for the book. I didn't talk to her about the video yet. Oh. I'll ask her about the video though. She's ask been on her. video before here. Yeah, it's she's not, been on the show not, a few times, not, dating back to the nineties. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so she's she's going to write something, and it's going to be a full. We're going to have we're going to have sixty nine rules to follow. Oh, 69 then, rules. Nice. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. The fuck yeah, out of my face. 69 rules to follow. <laughs> That's really clever, Greg. I got it. <laughs> that is so yeah, juvenile. Out of, yeah. Out of the of them. You that is so them. juvenile. I love it. <laughs> That's funny. That, all right, it is. It works. Yeah. It's kind of stupid, but it works. Yeah, I like it's that. Stupid, okay. but it works. And then, and then, then the Ten Commandments of Love to Obey. And then I'm be We after. keep the Ten Commandments and then of I'm, Love. Remember that song, Harvey and the Moon Glows? No, I missed that one. It was, it was right. playing at a bar that Lori was at. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> what bar? So oh, she goes to uh, Lucia's or whatever. No, no. <laughs> Lucia's. 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 Yeah. Lucia's. Oh, are you going to talk to Lucia too? Yeah, she's going to do it. I talked oh, to her. Well, she's a good actress, by the way. I, yeah. I was. Yeah. She is I was good. Saying, I was saying. I was telling her friends and acquaintances, I was like, Lucia is a great actress. She's she great is. Actress. She doesn't think of herself that way. She's like, Yeah, she doesn't. Like this. She like, should. I know. She's excellent. Beth should as well. Well, that's why Lucia's going to be in it. She, she yeah. said that, you know, she likes the idea of the how to emotionally satisfy a woman. She loves it. So Lucia likes it, and Colleen and Nancy and your sister likes it. Well, and good. Beth I do, and Beth. Well, and great. I, want, I, I would definitely watch I'm getting it. I a lot of good feedback about I would the, definitely read it and watch the uh, video. The, the book will be, and then we, took, we shot the cover for the book already with my friend Tosca. She's Paul. Right. Paul took the photos. Tosca. That name sounds familiar. Was Mr. she the Indino. Ukrainian woman that came no, with Jill? Tosca no, she's not, she's not Ukrainian. Oh. Her husband wrote the book. Uh, what, Prince what of Pieces. You give a, bon, a bear a bong. Was it? If you give, don't if believe if you I know beer, them. A, if you a give a bear a bong. Can we, uh, you, Tom? Can we talk to Brian Muka? If you give a bunny a rabbit. What happened to Gone. Brian Muka is gone. Yeah. So we we shot the cover already last week out in Hamburg. He just gave up, I guess. I'm sorry, Greg. We couldn't get Brian on. Because okay. I want his Medina perspective on this as well. Because he he's married, right? Who? Brian. Brian. Yeah. Well, he said no. no he was twice no. married. He's a divorced twice. Oh, I did not know that. He said when I mentioned it to him, he said, "I want that book because I I could have learned if I had that when I was in my two marriages." <laughs> Greg, this is like one of the books I'm interested in that you've written. It's the first no, one. No, no, the movie one was good. Oh, the movie one, yeah. Right. And also the one before that, the movie for yeah, movie for every day. And what was the one before that? I didn't get the Beatles, you know, that's more of a kind of Trump, fanboy Dylan, thing. Manson. Dylan, what the fuck? Yeah, happened? I didn't read the Trump or Dylan one. I want to read the Trump one one these days. You got a copy on you? No. All right. No. It's at the library, right? No. <laughs> Why isn't it? Because it's not approved by the Library of Continental Congress? Was it banned? Well, was it banned? 
No, I wasn't banned. Claim it was banned. I, I was thinking, Dave, since Speaking you're for marketing, since you're a writer, you could probably write something, a little essay for my new book, "How to Emotionally Satisfy a Woman." I, I'd be glad to. I have, we're gonna, we're have all, to. We're gonna have it. all. We're gonna have all women in the back, but then we could have. And now a word from Dave yeah, Stava. Yeah, just a point counterpoint. A little thing at the end. Yeah, yeah. Word from Dave Stava. Oh. Yeah, like you uh, like that idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like when they. Uh, yeah. some I just seen yeah. a f- <laughs> few paragraphs <laughs> after the State of the Union. And then the back cover will say expert analysis from Gwen Kears, Beth Lewitsky. Nancy Preezy and Dave Stava. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You want to get in. into this, Tim? I'm all oh, in, man. good Lord, no. You don't, you <laughs> Why don't, not? You're talking about it right now. You don't want my take. Are I you mean, talking about it right now? Well, it doesn't have to fit in with the general theme, does it? Of course it does. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a theme book. It's not It's not like talk well, about no. whatever you want and go nah. off on tangents. No, no, so no. I can't no, write no, the WNBA, though. You, you, no, I won't okay. put it in. You okay. can write about the WNBA. I wouldn't put it in a book okay. about how to emotionally Chicago satisfy Chicago Sky. Yep. I mean, that's only satisfying lesbian women, really. I mean, it's not exactly a... It's not exactly a big thing, WNBA. So what did you think about that whole Britney Griner thing? Sports. Um, sports, Lori. Sports. I know. I know. Well, no, this is more political this intrigue. Because she was, was, pol- yeah. she was social caught in the Soviet Social-political, Union yeah. and, and yeah. the former Soviet Union. And then she got put in the Who's Gow or the, or the Gulag, as they call it there, right. I believe. Yeah. Well, and it was a famous she was American. Because she had a cart. A vape cart. One yeah. cart. Yeah. I've had carts. I carry carts yeah. around with me all the time. And she got nailed for that. Well, it's kind of like Paul McCartney with a little bit of weed. In Japan. Put, remember they, they that? Put him, put him in prison for a few for nine days. Yeah, it shook and, him up, though, didn't it? He stopped writing silly love songs after that, didn't he? He started yeah. writing hard edge punk ones. <laughs> yeah. He really, he really <laughs> like, got a like, hard edge. Like, <laughs> like, like, like Ebony and Ebony Ivory. Ivory. <laughs> yeah. Or Say. 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 He wrote that. He wrote both of those after he goes to You don't cover that aspect of the Beatles and their individual careers. Yes, I do. You do? Win my book. The Beatles album guide, 63 to 2016. I do every solo album all the way to 2016. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh, I didn't, all I didn't get that far. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did read you some to, of it. You have to flip huh. through a little yeah. bit further. It's, all right. What, what, what do you think of Wings? They suck. I, they were good. I, I'm not a Wings fan. I, was, I liked I was Wings. wings. They were good. They are excellent. What about Jet? Jet? Like medium? Yeah. Medium? No, you, you know, got to have extra they're, hot. They were pretty good. Extra hot. They weren't as good as the Beatles, of course. They, they were lesser than the Beatles. It was the schmaltzy pop, that the kind of schmaltzy pop in the 70s it made me not like. Yeah, they, they better genre. not be those breaded ones either. No, not the breaded no. ones. No, they they were pretty good. Breaded. Yeah. I like Linda McCarty's vocals. Well, yeah, she carried. Well, she was it. a good. <laughs> she was a good singer. She's not like Yoko. She can yeah. really. T- she broke up the Plastic Ono band. <laughs> 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 well, that's how she lost her life. Yeah. Uh, so really, I'm doing a new band. I'm going to do a new band right. that I'm uh, managing right. called Yoko Ono Superstar. Which is Tina Peel? I knew it was going to be Tina. Everyone, because she's the she's the four, first and foremost Yoko Ono impersonator in the right, world. That's yeah. right. The only yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not your stepping stone. I'm not your stepping stone. Oh, she did. I'm not your stepping stone. Did she do that at Nietzsche's too? She did it at my anniversary. Party. Anniversary. That's anniversary where it was. Party. Okay. You weren't uh-huh. in there for ten seconds. I had I had to do the leave. Irish. I had to do the Irish. <laughs> I had to go. <laughs> I had to go. I noticed whenever we get, we get photographs taken of us lately, you're hugging me like you're dying. <laughs> you know, I'm tired. I'm <laughs> shattered. <laughs> Greg, two, fo- two parties in a row. You're like the photo. I'm old. The photo of me with everybody. Look, you're holding him up. <laughs> Greg, like, I'm old. Two parties in a row, Dave. Every every photo is. I work me, forty me hours like, a week. I'm old. I'm waving. Another person's waving. Like arms around me. And the photos of me and Tim, we're holding. <laughs> I do a lot of dispensary to, products. Tries to, hold, and I'm, just, to hold on for dear life. He's like, yeah, oh, I'm trying. Um, I'm so burnt out. Oh my yeah. god, life is so painful. <laughs> you know, we had the one we put out that that Richard put on the internet for the, my birthday party said. The, the, you you holding hugging me? It said the Passion of the Christ photo. I never even <laughs> seen this shit. It was on the interweb. I, I don't know where he it. puts this stuff. He, he used to Richard used to send me this stuff, and now he doesn't send it well, to he me anymore. He might be able to show you after the show. He better, uh, Richard. You hear that? The Passion of the Christ photo. He's upstairs. Are we getting any call? Any callers here? Excuse me. The no, there would be no, stuff on the screen no. over there. We're, Peter we're, Joe Serto's not watching it. I think we we only watch his Paula's show. Oh, is that? We you know, Paula's show is quite popular. Yeah, I know. Even my friend, my coworker at work, Angela, she loves that show. Paula's show is up here, and then your show and my show is down here. I know. Well, down here, down here. But, I think this show might improve our status with the female viewers. What do you think? Well, you, you think? said you, you said they're scattered and fucked up. So <laughs> no, <laughs> well, they're fragmented. They their emotions are fragmented. They're yeah. emotionally scattered. But the rest of you folks are doing very much. well they for women. I think. I think for, yeah. wi- for women, you're doing for very well. For women's causes, you guys are doing a lot. <laughs> Absolutely, that's all it's important. So it might help our our Q rating with women by exactly. Well, I we'll mean, have to wait to see till the surveys come in. My one friend <laughs> we'll said, find uh, market analysis. My one friend yeah. said this book will save women's lives by helping you know men learn. 
Who's that friend? Fred Tosca. the dog man? Tosca. Oh, Tasca. She said Tosca. that it'll save Has women's lives. It? Has she read it yet? No, she hasn't read it yet. I've told her okay. I told her what many, many of the rules and many, many of the commandments. Oh, okay. And many, so many of the concepts. Yeah, the inter- I told her stuff that's in the introduction. I told I discussed the whole thing with her and you know, she thinks it'll save women's lives because men are such obnoxious horrific pigs. Oh, that's like, what we need more of that talk, you know? Come on. It's like saying <laughs> the women are all, you know, sluts that go after guys that that's hate them. That's not like saying that. It's just, it's equivalent. Is it? Is, oh. you, you, I said earlier about men being stupid, ignorant, and horny. You said yes. Well, yeah, but well, I'm women just, are, just, women I'm just, just, just are, believe me, women are capable of just as much bullshit. Well, I went, uh, how, even, how sometimes did, even worse. How did Reg Dun- Dunlop put it? Men are disgusting. They're hairy. Oh, all, all the, the cocks yeah. in the locker room. I see them everywhere. Who but said women's that? bodies are beautiful. Paul Newman slap shot to Melinda yeah, Dillon, who just passed shot. away a couple of years ago. Yeah. 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 That's a good movie. Well, last year she passed the away. The best. Oh. We're not allowed to talk about sports in the show because of Lurie, though. But this is, we're talking about movies. Yeah. Movie, movies with Melinda Dillon and, and Paul okay. Newman. The best sports movie. That's one of the best movies, is, period, hockey, I've ever seen. Hockey, you like it? Slap Shot yeah, is hockey yeah. number one, right? That's the best. It's better than Miracle, right? Miracle's well, pretty it, damn good. It's a great movie. With Kurt Russell? Period. Miracle's good. Whatever it was about. That's a good it's movie. A great Miracle's movie. great. You seen Miracle? With Kurt yes, Russell? that was well That's done. That's a great one. Herb Brooks, Field yeah. Of yeah. Dreams. Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. Baseball. Filmed here. That's yeah. baseball. That's the no, natural no, you're thinking. You're thinking the natural. The natural is filmed here. The natural is filmed in a Redford, Iowa. Robert Duvall. Iowa. Yeah, Wonder the Boy. Was, Wonder the natural Boy. was filmed even, even on that Parkside Candy was filmed in front of. Yeah. Oakwood, West Oakwood, right around the corner yeah, from right the right house. Where you live, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah. they remember Redford's on on Main Street. And it says Chicago. Yeah, they well they, they put the fake elevated train yeah pillars up there to make yeah. it. It kind of did look like Chicago a little. But bit. If, if everyone booed at the Amherst Theater when I saw it. They were, it said it said Redford. It said Chicago, and everyone booed because I it, saw it with Ann Hannivan the day it opened she have at a top Amherst. On? <laughs> Not after. <laughs> I'm thinking about i think about interviewing her for, the, okay. for the, my new book with her top off the, on the, in the vid, on the, the video companion. Oh, she's it. in love with Paul, her husband. You know, she you know she would be a good person to uh, get in touch with about she that. She seem emotionally satisfied. Oh, very <laughs> much so. Yeah, he said she he seems extremely the happy. Ground she walks on. Yeah. Yeah. We interviewed her with her top off. Oh, Paula she's, and she's myself, great. His, his ex girlfriend. Great. As, and and you could interview her about the ways in which Tim was unsatisfying. Emotionally, yeah. I think Ann said I was very selfish at the time. Compare and contrast. You were selfish when you were a young man. Oh yeah, when I was a teenager. Nowadays, you're mature and dignified. (laughs) That could carry away. That's what you said. (laughs) Maybe, maybe. I've learned a little bit. I I would hope to. I I would hope to. I would hope I have. You were a live wire back in the '90s and '80s. Oh, those days were crazy, Greg. We were hanging out the Flamingo with John Lombardo all the time, man. I'm still hanging out with. I saw him last week. uh, How's he doing? He was. He said he loved the shirt that Lori made of him. You made a shirt of John Lombardo? You didn't see the shirt? No. The John Lombardo shirt where oh Wonder Woman's punching God. him out. No. It says One Less Maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Lori made that up. <laughs> you Lori, that's that on your phone? <laughs> no, you got to show it. Oh, I got to show, show our viewing audience. No, he's, she's going to show our viewing, you know, viewing audience. You know, I'll, I, that, I, I'll wear it. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry He said he loves it, but you know, it's him being punched out by Wonder Woman. That's on that's. One less maniac. Lori's very talented. You know, she's she a did a, genius. a home of the whopper, back to the future thing out there. That's wonderful. I love that thing. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the that voodoo was doll. A work of art. It, it was. Totally. I'll bring my pins next. <laughs> oh, that's the voodoo doll you call <laughs> it. <laughs> that's the voodoo doll right there. <laughs> Little Richard. All right, we're not going to go there today. Okay. Why not? I don't know because I'm not in the mood. Greg. Yeah, How about you? Yeah, Lombardo's got a uh, new uh, singer in Ten Thousand Maniacs. The singer from Six Pence None the Richer. Really? It's the lead singer now. Well, that Kiss Me song is awesome. I love That's that what song. Paul says. She's oh, everyone song. loves that song. So now they're going to be doing Six Pence to None of Richard songs and 10,000 Manic songs in the same gig because they got her. Really? She's the new lead singer. They're putting a new album out, too. No kidding. Yeah. She's in Buffalo? She's in Jamestown with them, working on the new album. She's living in Jamestown, the singer for Six Pence and Under Richard? She's joined 10,000 Maniacs. She's now the lead singer, their fourth lead singer ever. Wow. She's taken over the band. She's the lead singer. Now. Yeah, I forgot. I, I remember Natalie, and then who else was? Oh, there was Mary. Mary Ramsey, and then and then there was a third one. I forget her name. I think it was Dorothy. I don't from know. From Kansas. Dorothy Kilgallen. No. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to think of the website where the picture is. Dave, your life is changing, though, right? You're going to become a new human being now, right? I, I, yeah, everything changes. Your whole life is... It's well, a constant evolution. How many, how many different periods have you had in your life? Three or four <sighs> different periods? Um, well, I was a... Uh, uh, gardener. Uh, yeah, there was the gardener period. The bartender period. There was the bartender period. The, s- and, uh, the uh, sociological uh, import period. Well, that's always been... Well, yeah, I, I was a newspaper reporter, and then I ran a trap yard. So 
Do you think you like uh, Dave's writing, Tim? You like his writing yeah, style? well, he was good with the Gazette. I loved his writing in the Gazette. The Niagara Gazette? That, it was good that stuff. Was, I, that's, I also, read that. the Spree was good. I never read any articles Buffalo in Spree. the Spree. I never wrote for Buffalo Spree. Oh, yeah, he was great in Buffalo Spree. <laughs> oh, Dave's a good writer. I like his Tim writing. Tim used to star in uh, my Buffalo Bills coverage. That's he, right. I was the wing. I was part of the wing experts voting on the wings. Yeah, and wisecrack. Generally, mm-hmm. you're always good for a wisecrack or super Absolutely. And I cover the games in Toronto for you, yep. and you yep. post them on the Absolutely. Art Voice. Yeah, Yeah. Tim and I used to be best friends, and then you became his best friend. I, I, I got put in second place. Did you know that, Dave? <laughs> Well, you know how, how that makes me feel? <laughs> you ever think about how that makes me feel? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad, I'm glad we're getting this out, though. You know, well, on video, to, we're going to talk yeah, about it. we got to talk about it on video. Absolutely. Did For you feel year, betrayed? I, I met Tim in 84. Yep. And uh, we became best friends, and we were best friends for years and years. Then he kicked me out of his car. I said, "Get the fuck out of my car!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because you were using your brother Mark. It was right, a mental I defective. Brother, mental defective. Mentally yeah. ill. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> were you using him though? Well, we had a show with Mark and Tim and I, and, and then they the didn't week, want to do another Mark show. We always do Mark next shows. Week, next week, you want to do Mark and Tim? And it's I, like I Mark and Tim said, every week. Said, it's Mark, like, no. get out of my car, Greg, get out of my car. Yeah. So then he said, well, "I need a new best friend." I'm gonna start. I start didn't search. say that. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> immediately <laughs> after. Stop. Get out of my start, car. Start I need searching. a new best friend. No. Yeah, <laughs> you start searching. <laughs> that was '97. Yeah, then you started the search. That was spring of '97. Century. No. And. And then, actually, I met Tim before that. Uh, no, we had Star Bar and Mohawk, late nineties. Yeah, yeah, and you then, were uh, doing the Americanorama. That the was Mohawk. that was the first time we really talked yeah. much when you were working Saturday. Right, and you were clean day. cut back then, Dave. And okay. he was hanging out the same bars I was when I was living in the Falls in two thousand three, four, when the casino in uh, Seneca Niagara yeah. opened. Yeah, right. And of we'd hang hang out at yeah. that. And Cafe, then he, you et cetera, right. Yeah, you lived upstairs. You served, from there, right? Yeah, you, you yeah. served me from the position of number one best friend. Wow. I had got the number two. And so I, I still know I a lot. Of, no, I don't out. even think about that. I just, Greg. You know, we're always going. How much that hurt me being, not being the best? I don't friend rank anymore. people, Greg. I don't rank women. I don't rank friends. I don't rank. He used to write cards. He used to write cards. Me saying, "Dear Greg, you're my best friend." It was best friends day. Give me a card. Best friends forever. Yeah, BFF. And then it wasn't forever after all. He said BFF, and it was best. Friends for a little ever. No, he meant for a little time. BFF. Yeah, for Best a while. friends for a while. Yeah. 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 All right. You know how much that hurt me, Tim? Oh how my god. How much did it hurt you, Craig? Not much. But I'm just saying. I didn't think it did. I'm just saying. Am, well, I, am I in third place now? You should have gone in the corner and gotten some this. more beer. Am I in third place We're now? Starting to think I should have. Oh, that's all right. Huh? I'm still in second place. Oh, you're up there, Greg. You're up there. Everyone's up there. Everyone's. Remember that song by Hot Chocolate? Everyone's a winner, baby. That's no lie. Yeah, they were on Apple Records at the beginning of their career. They were? Under well, they were British, careers. weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They were on Apple Records. Oh, I didn't know that. With bad fingers? With bad finger. <laughs> Plural. I love bad fingers. It's, it's wrong. Singular is correct. <laughs> oh, all right. Bad finger. Yeah, you, you've had a lot of different periods. You know, like the gardening period. The well, uh, You were the Chauncey social... the gardener? There was my period time as a missionary. and. Uh... Now, why did you go from clean cut to uh, being like the hippie, dippy, long hair, bearded? I, one word. Garcia pussy. Love. I'm is that true? <laughs> is, is pussy that made you? So we're, we're rejecting you until I'm, you I'm a lazy, <laughs> Essentially, I'm a lazy man. And uh-huh. I just decided to stop getting haircuts as often and shaving was five to ten minutes a day that I no longer it had to spend. And it grew in. So I was Nothing to do with pussy then. Um, Tim's wrong well, on that point. I, I'm just joking. Let's just say I have gotten, and I've gotten positive feedback from all genders mm-hmm. since I let it grow. So, Lori, what do you think you of know? his look? Mm-hmm. Dave's look. It's, it's turn on, or do you see? Do you see? Do you see hippie Jesus? <laughs> it's and it's an easy Halloween costume every year. Yeah, wow. it's incredible. Nice, no, that's nice good. white that's robe. Yeah. Nice I white know. robe. I do a variation on Jesus. No, I do a variation on Jesus every year. That, that'd be great. I don't like do the, it every year. You like the look, Lori? Sure. You find it Thank attractive? You. No, I'm attracted to women. Oh, look, it's close oh, yeah, captioning as we're going along. Isn't that cool? No, because you're so. Is? How, is, how is the close you, captioning working? Because, is it, because at Dave, all? You're, you were a clean cut <laughs> sports writer, <laughs> wow. and now you're you're mixing up with with social <laughs> social industrial and economic uh, theories, and you're wearing you know the Jesus yeah. look. Yeah, I kind of like it. I, I, I like when you I, wear the, it. I like when you wear the cowboy it's hat easy. because it makes you like cowboy jeans. I have the you're cowboy like, like hat kinky, here. As a matter you're like kinky Friedman. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go get that cowboy hat and put it over the headset? No, come on. That would not be a good look. No, this, no, this is not a good look. No. This is a bad look. 
What the headphones? Yeah. You know, I thought oh, we got to get I a was, boom mic. The first time I was on your show was probably about 1998. Yeah, the, ni- the 2000. And I was in the 20, at that point yeah. thinking like they're wearing headphones, but I don't understand yeah. the technology of all of it. Right. Well, well, it's Richard's house. Is it an aesthetic thing, or is the sound much better than just if there was a microphone on the? I would think we'd prefer a microphone like they have like on the TV, like or Meet the Press mic. and like, Face the Nation. You could have like a bunch of microphones. Or like a little tiny it. microphone that you put in there and Not in there. Microphones hanging from the ceiling. No. No, I'm like saying one here, one like four of them, and then just get Windsor to hold the boom mic over all of us and let's <laughs> talk. Well, when I <laughs> I, 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 just started, I told Richard he's been working out. I told Richard yeah, last week. Good work I told Richard last week. I said when Gwen comes here and she does the how to emotionally satisfy a woman video. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's wait the John Lombardo shirt. There. This is the John Lombardo shirt. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on, woman. we gotta put this up. Hold on. Can we by zoom one, in, Tom? Woman. Tom, use your zoom lens. <laughs> John Lombardo gave us. He use loves your technology, Tom. Here, put it up there on the phone. I, we got to see that. It's a classic. Do you <laughs> see it? I'll see it up here. It's John well, Lombardo from 10,000 Maniacs uh, being, being punched, punched, punched by, by Wonder Woman. <laughs> nice. All right. One less maniac. One Pow. less Beautiful. maniac. And then Johnny, <laughs> after he got the flamingo that one night. <laughs> I remember that night. We were with him, weren't we? Yeah. That's why I told him his music sounded like... Uh, it had no balls. It had no balls. Yeah. Now, I like that. I tried to get this. <laughs> the reason why I have this is because I tried to get this cool, printed huh, by a company that right. does T-shirt printing. Yeah, and they wouldn't do it because it's copyright infringement because of Wonder Woman. Okay. Oh, I so thought it was because of Maniacs. No, 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 no. But I DC had Comics. I had to make it. I had to print this and mm. then put it on a T-shirt with an iron and stuff. To, to <laughs> well, get John it said that he likes it so much mm. that he wants to put it on sale with the Ten Thousand Maniacs <laughs> merchandising. Oh, yeah. Really. Yeah, they have. You know how they yeah. have the one uh, other one I have, the one where he's yeah. a young guy with the with the ghetto blaster. Now, why did you choose Wonder Woman for him to be punched out by? Because it was his idea. It's my idea. Wow, how did that we come were from? Sitting, well, we were sitting at a thing. Paula we a, was we a, doing a Paula did a poetry reading. book reading for her poetry book called uh, "Painfully Close." She had a poetry book, and everyone loved yeah. it because she was she's funny, but she was sad at the same time with her poetry. Yeah, and we went a to good the combination. We, we repaired to the bar afterwards, and I was with Laurie, <laughs> and, and she was at Laurie's having some drinks. We did. We were at a bar. No, Not we were sitting really. at a no, table we went to a, just like this. That was a, a bar we bar. were at. No, it, it, yes, it was. It, it was a bar. It was a, no. it was a bar. We went to a bar. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. We had food. We had food and drink. I, that was afterwards. We could have been saying, I just, anyway, brought it up at the, and Go on, go on, go on. To go on. be fair. I know to where I brought fair. it up at the bar. So anyways, I had a shirt, Lombardo shirt from the 10,000 Maniacs merchandising booth, which he gave me, which is, he's holding up, a, he's like 20 years old, and he's, he's 25 years old, and he's hang, holding up a giant ghetto blaster to his head, right? Okay. And I, and I had a shirt that Laurie made me of Wonder Woman punching, punching out Donald Trump. Trump. Oh. I said, well, she's punching out Donald Trump. Wouldn't it be funny if she, we combine these two shirts and she punched out John <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> and so last week when I was sent to see him live at the, the cave, I had the early shirt on, and he came over and said, I love that shirt, Greg. I'm Who, like, Donald Trump? No, Donald John Lombardo. Oh, Lombardo. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, Donald he played Trump. a different night last yeah. week. So I had to cave, and John Lombardo said, I love that shirt. Let's get the photo of the two of us together. And, and he said, you know, I really like, the shirt I really like, though, is that other, that sh- other shirt you have where Wonder Woman is punching me out. <laughs> and that he, is a good and he shirt. Sh- and he said he wants to have it on the 10,000 <laughs> Maniacs, new, their new tour in the fall with the merchandise. So how many of those did you make, Laurie? Just that one? It's, it's, oh. a, it's the most, it's the most. Uh, sought after uh, sought t-shirt after, in Buffalo uh, history. Right. <laughs> Outside of that one that says <laughs> Stanley Cup champion Buffalo Sabres 75. Because he's it's a local like Buffalo Wu-Tang rock star. Album. I know. He's a local <laughs> Buffalo rock star. There's only one Well, it, Jamestown. What? What? Well, what? Western New York. Yeah. That was a second problem that just got fixed for you if you want to go over an hour. Oh, well, Lord. Tim, you don't want to go over an hour, do you? Oh, you guys, Dave. Dave, do you want to go? He's more got than a party. Minutes? He's got to go see. if we can make it to an hour first. Yeah, uh, we, can, we, can, we still have twenty three minutes. Yeah, yeah I mean, we can we can talk for twenty three minutes. We didn't say anything that important in the first part. Yeah, I think it was interesting. I, well, we're not going to judge it until yeah. we get to the yeah. main topics. Yeah. Well, yeah. so anyway, so I, that's going to be a cool thing in the new tour with the with the, the new singer, Six Pence on the, the Richard. No, I'm, I'm looking forward kiss, to that. No, I'll go, I'll go see that because, you know, John's me. music can be kind of like, I don't know, melancholy. I don't know. <laughs> is that a word? Yeah. Yeah, so melancholy is a word. Lacrimose. <laughs> kind of lacrimose. <laughs> lacrimose yeah. is a word. Okay. Yes, I named. Melancholy. Kind of jejun. There's, there's, there's a lot of jejun. Yeah. There's a lot of songs like that. A lot of music. Kind of pantheistic, too, in a lot of ways. Oh, my God. Where are you getting all these words You like the 10,000 Maniacs? They're fine. They're fine. They, are they like wallpaper like music to you, or are they really? I. What kind know, of music I, do you like, Dave? Uh, 
Just about everything. Oh, God. Just he likes that shit kicker music. Shit kicker music. Shit that, kicker is that why you have the shit kicker look? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I was born a shit kicker. So. Uh, well, he was. Talking, he makes no bones about I'm it. I'm allowed to use the phrase. Well, That's right. Tim's you, borderline, man. <laughs> hey, I, don't know if you got the, I don't know if you got the pasture pass over mm-hmm. there. You you know? Know? Oh, I did. No, I I, 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 I can have appreciation <laughs> for rural American. I really can. I mean, I live in. Southern culture on the skids, buddy. Oh, yeah. They're coming to town. I love small town. Yeah, they are. I would see them in a long time. They're great. Rural areas. I love it. Well, but yeah, but I like that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Any kind of pop music, I'm not. Like, I don't like pop country. I you don't like, like wings. Pop pop. I don't like wings. Don't like wings. You don't like pop pop. No. K pop. I like the uh, the, the genuine article. Yeah. Genuine pop. Regular yeah. real pop. <laughs> real pop. What would be real pop? Well, no. I, I, other genres. Pop is an amalgamation. Of, oh my god, an amalgamation. What about We're that using word? Some big words. Amalgamation. Yeah, that means you combine good. certain yeah. aspects of this <laughs> and that and combine it into Thanks, one. Tim. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for ah. teaching me. The Amalgamated Aluminum See? Company of That's America. Great. You're like a, my guru. <laughs> People hear about upcoming books here. They get a grammar lesson or vocabulary. Right. We're here to yeah, teach yeah, you, yeah. the follower, if we had enough followers. A lot of learning going on. Did you think about writing a self-published <laughs> book for yourself? Excuse yeah, I wrote, me. I wrote seven of them so far. I'm probably going to get right on there. I mean, you're sure. a writer. You're a real yeah, writer. So I you think should now do that. The only thing in your golden years, in your next phase, you should write your own self-published book? I think so. What would it be about one topic or many? Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought that Well, you said about, a video, yeah. if you did a video podcast or an audio podcast, it'd probably be many different subject matters. Correct. Subject That's, pieces yeah. of the subject matter. But maybe I could write books about individual topics. Well, what kind of subject matter would you want to cover in a podcast that would be interesting to the public? Um, I've covered a lot, of, done a lot of true crime writing. And that's an easy one for the podcast. Tim you know, loves get, true crime. To get attention. I thought your buddy Hudson and, did uh, the true crime writing. I, I did a lot. I'm, well, Hudson did more for the reporter, but I did. Well, he did a book, didn't I he? I could probably do ten a ten part series just on true crime things I wrote for the New York Times. Well, yeah, I was well, telling you know the, I was telling Lori about your Bucky Harris series, your Bucky Phillips series, <laughs> Bucky Harris. That's Bucky my Bucky next, That's what I'm going to write a book about. Bucky, Bucky Harris, Harris, former right. uh, manager, Washington of the, uh, Senators, and later well, the Yankees. Well, you yeah. know, there's a lot that's of room. This is sports talk. You know, there's a lot of video it's podcasts crime talk. and. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. It's true crime talk. They were talking about a baseball manager just now, right? Yeah. He, I, I brought the about, wrong name. He, he wrote about Bucky Phillips, though. He did. Yeah, he covered right, it for but, the Times. But the thing is, there's a lot of... Uh, you, that might be good for you, Dave, because there's, there's a lot of very popular true crime podcasts. Right. But I don't want to just do that. What's the other subject matter that you would want to cover in podcasts? I could do sports, music... Uh, you're just telling people's stories. But music, you love place. everything, though. You're kind of... You yeah, should, so I could cover everything. You could cover Except everything. Pop. No pop. No pop, of course. Especially not pop country. S- sports, music, yeah. film. You like film scores? Film scores. Art. Film scores. Art. Film scores. You've been to the Albert film, Knox film, music. What's that? Been to the Albert Knox yet? I have not been to the new gallery. We shall always gather the Man, we us. drove past there. Remember, I've never been there yet. No, I've never There's been no there place yet. to park. The only one I know no who's been there, there is my good buddy. Don't park. You know the talented artist Richard Harris? No. Don't know him? Richard Bucky. Oh, MacArthur, Harris. MacArthur Art Park. Richard no. Harris. No. MacArthur Park is Benetton. Robert Harris. Bob Harris. Oh, Bob. Robert, Robert Harris. Harris. I got Not him wrong. Bob Harris. I haven't seen that guy in so long. I forgot his goddamn name. He's on the cover of the Gusto. Yeah, he yeah. was at the opening. His name of the is Ox. Robert, not yeah. Bob. How can we even buy one Richard. of his? Richard. Definitely not Richard. The cover Robert. Of the Gusto. It was, he was on the cover you don't of get the Gusto. The Gusto. They have a thing the called the library on Sundays where now. I work, where they get the oh. paper for the, <gasps> for the patrons to, oh. to read. And I I have lo- I'm allowed that. to read it because I work at the library. I and you don't have to. That. We wouldn't have had to have read it no, to see his see, picture. On I just part. saw Robert on the cover. Yeah. yeah. But you wouldn't have known who it was I, unless I, it I said I don't even read the was. Buffalo News. No, so. I'm, I, he, he was on a show because Tim's friends with him. Mm-hmm. He's been he on was the on show the show. Seraki Sterling. Richard Harris? Out. No, Robert, Robert Harris. Harris. I was Bob thinking. Bob I'd... Harris. Robert, not Bob. All right, Robert. Robert. Gum- Robert Harris. Careful, careful. The gummies Robert. are kicking yeah. in. You're harshing my mellow. <gasps> I don't know if uh, he's definitely a Robert, though. Who? I don't see him being Bob. No, Robert, he's, he's a Robert. Right, he, seems he like a Robert. Bob. He is a Robert. He hates he Bob. I call him Bob as much as I can. He lets me get away with it because I'm Tim. Right, you know, a lot of people let me get away with yeah. stuff because I'm exactly. Dead. Once they accept, you know. so you get a lot, yeah. you get a lot of pricky stuff. <laughs> I, of course, you, I do. People like thinking, well, Tim's a prick, so we'll, yeah. let, him, we'll let him get away with that. That's it, right? what they do. They do the same thing. I do the same thing at work, which you know, yeah. I, I annoy people. Yeah, my my son. But it's all in good. Yourself. It's all in good fun. Yeah, well, I know if I know family, you friends, call coworkers. Wicca, it doesn't Dick matter. Wicca. Dick Wicca? Did I say that? Yes, you said the car. I <laughs> called him Dick Wicca. Well, that's just affectionate. <laughs> yeah, you're just being pricky. It's yeah. just Tim. Yeah. You're being Tim. You're not. Uh, it's it's all good yeah. fun. Call him Dick Wicca. Dick Wicca. 
He's not upset about that. No, he doesn't. No, he, Richard's good nature. Out. He's not going to care. No, no, no he's, he's not, not going to stalk me and come after me. <clears throat> no, the question is not going to stalk you or come after you. No, no. That's, he's not going to throw me out of the house. Not, definitely not going to sucker punch you. Or, no, or kick me in the yeah. nads. No. Well the, well, the reason he's not on a show with the four of us right now is because the last time he's on a show, I was saying we don't give a fuck about what you have to say, Richard. Remember, Lori? Oh, that, yeah. That would never really came, make him want to come back. He never came back on. He, no. he lives here. He was sitting yeah. here. He was <laughs> asking. <laughs> house. He was bringing up certain topics on the computer, <laughs> like, said, what would you fuck? think of this? Right, Lori? I said, who gives a fly? I actually thought found it interesting, but Greg was punking him off, so I said, oh, well, what are you, you're not going to win, Richard. You're just right. not going to win. He right. never came back, though. I know. Because and we lost Dick Wicca because of you. Yeah, because of me. I was playing with Tim. He didn't. He didn't let me slide. Say, oh, it's just Greg being Greg. He's a prick. Yeah, you know, it wasn't all good fun. You know. I thought he had some interesting topics, actually. Well, he really does. He's not like us. I don't know. I don't. Just, but I don't know if it would have been made for an interesting show. I'm not sure. I've stopped to decide. I'm has. You know. I'm hesitant to too many say whether it would be better. Don't you like the, you like the history of history? Yeah, yeah, but I also like to talk about history and other. Like contemporary what? topics or whatever he was, whatever I forgot what he was posting, but it was interesting to me. You know, he said describe. Well, you this never picture. bring up history on the show, though. Who you? Well, I, I never had opportunity to. Right now, what historical subject would you like to discuss? Okay, what historical? I, I didn't think about it before I came on, Greg. So <laughs> FDR, I can't just pick one on my ass, F you know. FDR, the Civil War. No, the Civil War chess set. Let's talk about the history of that. Where did that? <laughs> whiskey Who invented rebellion? that? No. Yeah, the Whiskey Rebellion. Let's talk about no. that. He shot forty-four men just for yeah. one. Well, let's destroying. talk about the opening of the St. Lawrence Seaway. What ha how that happened? I killed Buffalo. Bad for Buffalo. Oh God! Yeah. I killed Buffalo. I don't Buffalo think that's terribly controversial. Hell, downhill it was go that. it was going down before then but slightly, but, but it was going down. way downhill. Yeah, but what it really took it for that's the shipping down was, they, the, was the, the '80s when they brought the monorail in. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. The, the monorail fucked everything up. That's bullshit. Destroyed, you know, it's, it that's, destroyed that's, America that's, as we know it. No, that's nonsense. I hate when people say and that. It that's it, ignorance. It just it all does is go from. I use it every day to get to work, Greg. Before I had when I didn't have my car, I used it, and it was very convenient for me. The we have a monorail? monorail? Yeah, we have a we monorail. We got a subway. A six-mile subway. A six-mile subway. Yeah. Oh, that thing. Yeah. That thing. <laughs> All right. yeah. Never, no one ever rides it. Never been on it. Never. Well, you're never. a driver. Not once. Yeah. You're a driver. Yeah. You're good with language. Thanks. You're welcome. Do you, are you going to write for the book? Because Dave's going to write for the book. Well, if Dave's going to write for the book, I have to write for the book. Ten then I got to write for the book. Can you write for the book? Yeah. You always I, ask me to write for your book. Sometimes I do. I wrote for the Trump book. I did, did a little excerpt for the Trump book. Not, the, I did, not I, the movie book. Not though, the movie which, book. Which no. makes no sense. I asked you for the movie book. You're a big movie fan. He's well, like, I was more into. I was more in like because I hated Trump, you know, and I just wanted to like yeah, say my bit. And I saw. I wanted. Yeah. I wanted to say how yeah. stupid America was for actually doing that. Yeah, you know, and saying we deserve what we get. You know, we do. We do deserve what we get. All I'm asking for from the three of you is one sentence. Paul's going to write a whole essay, but one sentence at, at, at the least, just one sentence, crystallizing your thoughts. Just well, about relations. Is a separate about chapter? About, yeah, separate about chapter. just one sentence and then Well, I'm going to put it, for, if, if you and Tim do it, it'll be a now, now a word from Dave Staba and now a word from Tim Siraki, you know. Okay, okay and this like is that. about Roy a will go with the women's list, you know. Yeah. It'll be Paul. Emotionally satisfying yeah. women, Nancy right? Pree. This will be about emotionally satisfying yeah, women. Yeah, one sentence. Women. You want one sentence? No, I'm saying at least one sentence. You give me Oh, at least. Lot. Oh, okay. Of, I can give you 10 pages if I want. Right, I'm just I'm just I'm just worried that if I don't tell you I won't I don't have 10 pages in me, Paul. I told you if I don't tell you one sentence minimum, you you won't do it. But if I tell you only just one sentence at least. I'll do a couple paragraphs, maybe. I didn't see Dave get a bunch of paragraphs. Dave will write and write and, and write and write and write and write. August 1st. Right. August 1st? Oh, yeah. God, that's the that. deadline? You got yeah. offers already? Oh well, I so want you to get a book out in late August yeah. or early September. Oh, that's right. That's it doesn't right. pay, but. That's all right. Yeah. It's, it's exposure. That's the key thing. Uh, I'm still waiting for Greg to cast me in a movie. Well, I thought it was kind of funny at the party. You he could have been Chuck Manson. He could still play Manson. That's right. Do you have any acting ability, Dave? Uh, I, I've I've done some things not in a long time. Well, I wrote this book. It's here. You see that I've the faked my, my way shirt. through a lot of social situations over see the years. See the back of my no, shirt. Haven't we all? Can you see the back of my shirt, Dave? Manson and I Hell. I can. I do. That's a book I wrote. Manson and Hell. Oh, I, I, I got to start reading. I made this right? too. I interviewed I interviewed Manson made and Hell. Shirt. Yeah. That's oh. The okay. con that's the concept of this fictional masterpiece, and we're thinking about making it into a play. Can you can you I'm imagine in. yourself being in a play? Yeah. And playing Manson. Yeah. You'd have someone someone interviewing you. Can you memorize dialogue? Yeah. Okay. I used to be able to, anyways. Well, so if you, someone, someone <laughs> it's I don't know which part, which it might be a little harder these I don't days. Know for sure, but it might be a little I'm more difficult. I'll give it my best I already, shot. I already talked to memory. John Kennedy. Do you know if John F. Kennedy by any chance? I do. Okay. Well, he's he. I talked to him about it. I said he'd be a great interviewer, playing my part. Right. You know, the Sterlice part. 
and then you could be Manson. He could definitely be Manson. Okay. The I look, think so. the feel. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. He's got the look Manson in the and feel. Manson and hell. This is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told you. Yeah. 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 He, he, he looks scary there. right there. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah. With the broken teeth and all that, man. That's awesome. Oh, you got to get is like one of those little Nazi swastikas, you know? Those recent industrial incidents. Him playing being yeah, Manson. Yeah. It's genius. I'm I here. didn't you, say it. Yes, you did. No, when did we start shooting? Oh, we did you it, Tim? did. No, I, no, you did. No, I did. I, you I did. Tim did. You did. Yeah. Genius. You did. Yeah. He, he has to get a You get one of those little Nazi it, insignias no, on his no, forehead? No. The whole point of the, the book is that the devil is teaching him in hell how to be a better person. Okay. And he doesn't have a swastika anymore on his forehead. Right. They, got, they got rid of that. Okay. But she's teaching him. Because I'd hate to forget to the, the clean up after name is, shooting and walk out into public with a swastika <laughs> on my forehead. The, the devil's <laughs> people, right. would, people blow that shit out of proportion. There's no yeah. way I would do that to an he actor. He was a maniac. You know? The devil is his name is Beth in the in the book. Okay. Beth is teaching him to be a better person, so that eventually, a thousand years from now, he might be able to go to purgatory and to heaven. Okay. But right now, he's learning that racism is bad. Violence against others is bad. What is the devil's motivation for teaching him this? Well, in my book, he's sick of my answer. He doesn't want to answer. In my book, either. in my book, the the concept from hell is because it's just my made up scenario. Gotcha. Unlike the scientifically proven hell, you know, it's, the it's, instead of the one that people generally make, you know, it's made up and they all agree on it. You know, the devil's evil and the devil's, mm -hmm. a, you know, a scumbag. He was an I, angel at one point, right? But my 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 devil, Beth, her name is Beth Kennedy. She, <laughs> she, good choice. She has the last name too. <laughs> she yeah, is. She's on the cover. And is Beth Kennedy playing the part? I would yeah. assume. Well, we were going to shoot the video with Beth Kennedy playing the part. We never got around to that. But okay. anyways, uh, Beth Kennedy is is the devil, and she's in in my book. She teaches all the people like Hitler and Mussolini and and you know all those dead people that are scumbags. She teaches them how to become better people, and eventually they can go from purg to purgatory right. and, and have it made a thousand years from now. That's the concept gotcha. of the book. So Manson's learning to be a better, gentler Manson in the in the book. He's still he's still a <laughs> maniac. He's still a psycho. He's still going back to the songwriting. And, oh, it's all about yeah. it's, it's basically the book is about songwriting, and psychology, religion, and and the Beatles, and the and the murders yeah, and right. the trial. That's it. It's nine chapters, yeah. of course. And then there's the, the nine commandments of Charlie. The the the, the 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 main the main the best commandment I have on here is forgive those you've wronged. Ah, that's a that's an I made that up. Yeah. What happened was my it's wife Paula, you've met her, Dave, right? I have. <laughs> she, I have. I wrote these ten comm or nine commandments of, of of Charlie up, and she said those suck, Dick. Those are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's a direct quote. Paula said, "What do you think, Paula?" Should they be have honest? Those feedback? suck, Dick. They're big time sucking, Dick, Greg. All right, uh, stop with the Dick talk. <laughs> Dick Wicker, can you do anything about this? Re she said, redo them. So these these nine on the shirt, I redid. And I'm really proud of them. I, I don't even know what the other you nine were. You need a good were. editor. I deleted, yeah. I deleted the other nine. I, never, I don't even know what they were, how yeah. they were so bad. Right. They were so useless. That's <laughs> all part of the writing process. I, I'm, glad I can't, I'm glad I can't remember them. I'm glad I don't have a copy of them. I just have to, <laughs> these are the nine uh, ones that I saved. So right. Well, I'm, obviously, I'm going to have to read that if I'm going to. But Davis Manson. Tim came up with the idea of Davis Manson. Yeah, well, you know, he's got the... Can he, he you know, could see him playing Manson, couldn't you? Yeah, and that. John F. Kennedy be the interviewer. I played Ebenezer Scrooge. Manson in, in Genesee County. Ever. He can oh write a whole God. new book, man. A the whole Manson, new, of Gen Manson of Genesee County. Of Genesee County. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Mansons there, man. So you're in good company. Hey, you were looking for a new, new, new things in your life, and now a, you're gonna play Manson. This is there was great. a concert down uh, St. Patrick's Day outside a few years ago, and I'm walking outside from getting a drink in the bar, and I hear somebody say as I walk by, "Charlie's out of prison." Wow! And I get a lot of comparisons to other people. Oh, you have got you, you have got Chuck Manson yeah. before then. No, no, no. Yeah. But the thing was, well, you just got. I was there. like, God, they think I look like Charles Manson. Maybe they were men in our Charlie. I remembered hearing that phrase, "Charlie's out of prison," and I looked it up, and it was a band. And uh, the lead singer uh, looks like uh, go figure, uh, Greg. Still, like I look like the lead singer when of I look that at you, band. When I look at you oh. now, now that or vice versa. Tim has suggested this idea, I, I never see, heard I of see Charlie's the, band. I see the the when he died. In his 80s, he had a beard and he, of course, he had gray in it, which you have. I do. He had the long hair, which, of yeah. course, you have. Yeah. He had those crazy eyes like, that you have, Dave. Yeah. 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 You do that, Chuck yeah. 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 Manson oh, right God. there. Do the eyes for her. The Chuck Manson of Genesee County. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Kismet. God. Give me, there you go. The book That's soon. your I'm bullet right there. When this one's an Oscar. This is going to go viral. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to have to go. Don't you need is the state's permission, though, to write a show about, about a movie about him? No. What state's permission? It's, what do you mean? Is his estate's. His estate's. No, you don't need anyone's do. permission. What are you talking about? Who owns it in Manson Estate? 
You can you can write fictional uh, novels about yeah. famous people. You can, you sure? Mm. Of course, like <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald, John F. Kennedy. You know, people that are, are David even, Hinckley. If you're alive, you, well, all, anyways, he's dead though. But I mean, mm -hmm. there's yeah. definitely been a lot of historical fiction that's not. You know, they don't have to ask for permission because he's a he's a famous figure. Maybe. It's, no, there's no, there's nothing. That, anyways, no, yeah, I'll give you the book. Yeah, I wish I had the That'd book with me right now. I think we hit an hour. Windsor, how much? That no, we got ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Windsor, roll, roll the highlight film, would you? It's frozen at ten. Was... We got fifteen. That comes says ten. <laughs> oh, the audio problem. Uh, oh. How okay, come so, seconds aren't? So I'll give you the by. copy of that book, and you can Absolutely. check it out. Absolutely, I will do that. I, I was just reading. I, re I was just rereading it today. Oh. It's a Jean masterpiece, Guy. by the way. Have you read the script now? What? Have you read push the script paw, the movie push paw. I'm saying, if you read the book, the sparse book, you'll see it. It basically is the script. But we're not, I don't want to make definitely make a movie. I want to do a play. Oh, a play. Okay. Oh, we could do a movie. We did a. This is this is the movie we tried to do with John Blake playing Manson. See how he looks a little bit like Manson here. If you can t see, he, right. looked, he does. If you saw him in person, you'd see he, he's Manson esque. Gotcha. Am I right, Laurie? <laughs> yeah, he's Manson. He's Manson esque. He's at the, he's the same height too as Manson. Yeah. Yeah. You're taller. Yeah. This guy was actually the same. Okay. And he's actually, Manson was a little guy, wasn't he? Yeah, this guy and this John's a little guy. Well, we can dig a trench for you to walk in. All right. Well, you know, I'll say, I'll I'm thinking more of a play. That, that, yeah, a play. And a play could either be made into a video also by also shooting the play. That's true. You know, you can have a video of it. With, with See, because usually a play you know, is then made into a movie, but making a movie first and then a play might be. A oh, this sounds like. Well, like I said, I, I'd rather a do movie, a, a, a serious movie, and then we turn it into a musical. Well, it's funny because you mentioned about being cast in my, <laughs> yeah, in one of my movies, and I said, when you were talking to me at our anniversary party, me and Lori, you said you want to be shot to death in a movie. That's always been and my thing. I, your I was dream. Like, write a scene in which someone gets shot. In so a he, bar wanted be, and I'll he wants to be, be shot to be death in a bar in a movie, right? Yeah. yeah. And I said, I'm not going to make a whole fucking movie to give you a shot. <laughs> <some> shot you know, <laughs> but can't you just do a throwaway uh, scene that doesn't well, really have I much said, to do with What the I plot? said to him, ah. Tim, was I said, and Lori, will you back me up on this? You were there. I said, Dave. Why don't we have Gwen shoot you in a vi shoot a video that that Laurie edits, Tom shoots, that Gwen shoots you to death in a bar, and we that's that's just it. It's a it's a clip uh, like a, a, a scene from the movie or part of the or it's a trailer. Yeah. And you said that's too short. I gotta have a whole ninety minute movie <laughs> drag <laughs> with me getting shot. I'm like, well, I Is said the I thought either the I opening said, or the climactic scene. I thought. Maybe that was both. pretty good to have yeah. Tom shooting it, Gwen shooting you, Laurie doing the editing, me doing the directing, yeah. and you're getting shot in a bar by Gwen, yeah. and we, it's either a trailer or it's an outtake scene. And you said no. You said I have to have a whole movie around well, it. I, you know, I, I you thought that to over my now? agent. My you agent said it might now? be good exposure. You thought that you over know, now? As I start my acting career. Because yeah. you, your whole life is changing no. now, right? Exactly. So you doing a playing Manson is, a, is part of yeah. your new life Absolutely. in a play and a movie, and you getting shot to death. By Gwen. And get It'll this. You know, I, I just thought of something. <laughs> How about this? Yeah, how do you get into the Screen Actors Guild, Tim? I'm not. You have to utter like a line of dialogue. In, uh, any oh, I thought you were in the Guild. No. Oh, I, you have an I, IMDb. I didn't get my. He was a, he was I could have had my sad card if they, if they kept my, Quiet my place one too. line in that movie, Mercy, I did. With the guy who wrote the book or the movie about Ryan Reynolds and locked in the box and right. banging on the box in Iraq. You were in Quiet Place too, though. Yeah, but I was—I didn't have any line of dialogue in that. But no. they gave me a scene with dialogue in baptizing a baby. I played a priest, and it was edited out of the movie. You didn't count and that. The, yeah. yeah, and even then, if they edited you out of the movie, you still did a line. They're supposed to give you a SAG credit, a card, or, or the opportunity to get union membership, and they never did. And they never even paid me for that goddamn movie. Huh. That was a Joel Resnikoff thing. Richard just said on the screen there, the pace of the dialogue on, on this show is too fast for his taste. So let's keep it up. Let's keep the, pace, the fast pace. Yeah, it's up. always fast paced and witty. Richard doesn't like things fast. He likes them on a kind of on an even. So he wants feel. us to stop and say, "What is on your list?" <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Richard's style. He's a yeah. seasoned citizen. He's a season, you know? he's that's a why Greg turned off yeah. the show. Apparently, I yeah, guess. I just no. I Creative pushed. I pushed him. Yeah. I pushed him away with the love. Yes. <laughs> Richard's a boomer. He's a beloved. Maybe. Boomer. Maybe in the. Maybe we do a. Since you're playing Manson, maybe We're we have all Gen X maybe here. we have a, a fantasy thing like Quentin Tarantino. Remember, he had Hitler shot to death in his movie in Glorious Bastards. Yes, Quentin Tarantino. Maybe have you seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Although Manson, that's what that's what the Manson book's from. Okay, I, I thought the movie sucked so much because it they had Manson in it for two sentences. He said, "I'm a friend of Terry's." Right. Uh, and I'll and come back later. You needed more Manson. You wanted more Manson. Well, he did a. He did a two and a half hour movie that he said was Manson oriented. It was Manson oriented, and he had all of it, all he had said is hi, is Terry home? I'm a friend of his. That's all he said in the whole fucking movie, Manson. Right. And when they had Brad Pitt go to Spawn Ranch, 
they said, oh, Charlie's not here. So Tarantino had a chance to put all any any cool dialogue he wanted into Charlie Manson's Charlie Manson's right. mouth, with Brad Pitt playing off him, and he didn't do it. Right. So that's why I got the idea to write the book. It, right. It's all it's based on that how Charlie's Tarant- turn. Tarantino dropped the ball. <laughs> when, it, when hasn't he? I, I could go off. I'm not a Tarantino I know, but fan. he dropped the ball completely on a, ma- on a movie that's got a Helter Skelter in it, but in Manson, he's not here. He went He went somewhere. And so that's what they tell Brad Pitt. He's not here. He right. went somewhere. Right. What? Just, I was, I was expecting well, to see. I was expecting Charlie to, wasn't there at any of the murders either. No, no, no. So but the, he was but, detached no, from but the it, operation, it's so not it was the, actually kind of No, it's not, I don't want him to necessarily put right. him in the murder scene at the end, which, you know, they, they do the Sharon Tate thing next door. And they don't have Charlie, of course, because it, right. it, in real he life, wasn't Charlie there. wasn't there. He was at home at the ranch. But I'm saying, in the movie itself, when they have Brad Pitt go out to the, the Spot Ranch, they had the opportunity to have him say anything wild and interesting. And, oh, so he Charlie's could have beaten not, up Bruce Lee and yeah, Charles Charlie's Charlie's in the same movie. So anyways, what I'm thinking is, maybe you can, we can have Gwen in a fantasy, you know, how Hitler gets shot to death. Maybe Gwen can kill Manson. I like that. Gwen kills Manson. <laughs> and maybe she's a Manson girl and she kills Manson. Or maybe she's a re- maybe she's Sharon Tate. Or maybe she's a reporter or whatever the hell she could be. Yeah, like Sharon what Tate th- fights back. Figure out <laughs> right, right. The, 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 Sharon Tate's the, revenge. The video is Sharon Tate's. <laughs> we got a lot. We, can, we have several she, movies she here, I think. St- yeah. <laughs> she shoots Dave Stop as Charles Manson and she plays Sharon Tate. That would make sense. I like that. All right. Sharon Tate's in heaven. Yes. <laughs> she goes to hell. She, t- <laughs> she, t- t- <laughs> she asked God to send her to hell to kill Manson. Or she's Again. Who's already dead. Or maybe, already dead. Or no, maybe, you maybe, kill someone maybe Sharon hell? Tate's in heaven, leaves heaven, right? And on a <laughs> mission of revenge. <laughs> and she goes to, to the prison in L.A., you know, whenever it was, 10 right. years ago. And she shoots Manson to death when he's still oh, alive. Okay. Oh, I like it. So you're like, a whole you're, other movie you're like an now. orange jumpsuit. And yeah. <laughs> and uh, we could do a whole series and, of me as Charles and Manson. And the fact that Gwen is yeah, older. Three, four different uh, movies. The fact that Gwen is, I don't want to get typecast. The fact though. that Gwen is 30 years older than Tate when she died, that's fine because, that, you know, it's a, you know it's a, it was yeah. a 40-year gap between yeah. her, her getting murdered by the Manson family and her shooting Charles Manson in prison as revenge. Okay. I, left, I left heaven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went down and killed that motherfucker. <laughs> He spelled that's a good one. He that's a good. So how about that? Al dente wrong. Al and and dente. Al dente. He's, he's talking about spaghetti or something. It's Al, chewy. Like anyway, yeah, that's that okay. Chewy. That's what we'll do. We'll have <laughs> Sharon Tate comes from heaven and kills Charles Manson. Then you can do the Andante. I gotta give you the book though. You can see how great it is. Andante. So we have a whole new section. Yeah. Yeah. It's a masterpiece. Are we adding this or is it gonna be a two part? No, oh, this is this this is added to the. Or what if? At the end, Manson uh, uh, gets to heaven, and Sharon Tate kills him there. She sees him. No, he's, no, he's, he's, not, coming. he's not going to get to heaven because he's heaven. Manson. No, but he, after a well, thousand isn't that years. The after a thousand, oh, a thousand years, years yeah, like we, that thousand years. We fast forward. Talking? Yeah, oh, that'd be a pisser, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that could be our <laughs> whole that thousand that years, and he gets to heaven. That could be and our post credit scene. Right, thousand that years. Could be our he learns to be a good person. He yeah. learns to go to go to. He gets to, they let him in. Saint Peter lets him in. And Sharon Tate head off. Yeah. <laughs> he like it. What the? You're fuck? right. Yeah. And you're right. Yeah. What the? Fuck? That's genius. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's a writer. Well, first Tim well, thought about using Dave, and yeah. then Dave oh, thought yeah. about using. Great <laughs> idea. It's a collective it's creative great. process at, the, at its finest. Well, that's and how wow. we make catcher. And the so, uh, thousands of viewers right now around Western New York and well, the world just, are, are privy to oh, yeah. it. My two, nice. my two books are really working out in this show. Yeah. I've really got a lot of mileage. <laughs> yeah, yeah last absolutely. Two a lot of free plugs. Yeah. We haven't and actually of mentioned the, the, the book before that was one that Tim liked, the movie book. So. Yeah, it was a good book. Uh, yeah, of course book. it was. It was huh? 600 pages. Yeah. Is that big? That's big. It's, it's in the other room. You yeah. can actually see it. Yeah. It's in the I other will, room. I will look it's 600 done. pages. Well, then the Trump book would be too, right? No, the Trump book's not out there. No? Okay. The Gwen Kier's Big Mess cover is out there, and the and oh. the movie book okay. is out there. I wish I had the Manson book to give Dave. I, that's, well, you're definitely gonna, you'll love it. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. yeah. Jeff Simon said last month, no, he said in April, it was a masterpiece, and I'm a genius. Really? Yeah. Well, I know he. Jeff Simon's got a love, know, artistic love crush me. on you. He loves me. <laughs> I, I, last time I saw him in, in May, I said to him, Greg Stroy, superstar, and I shook his hand. He's like, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't show up at your anniversary party, though. Well, he's, he's, he's you know, he came Does to the he? movie five years ago, but he doesn't oh, do yeah. all the events, yeah, you right. know. Yeah. He's not like you. <laughs> you? You'll, you'll jump at any event to be with us. You want to be married to us. I always do. You want to be married to us, right? I've already said that. Yeah. L- Lori wants to marry Paul and myself and have a threesome. The, me, Paul, and yeah. Lori. Yeah. That's her dream, that the three of us live together in her, in her mansion out in Orchard Park. It'll happen eventually. Nice. Wow. Whatever you floats your boat, dude. You're not into that idea? I don't care, Greg. I'm I'm for individual happiness, and that's that's all 
you know, it's all that matters. Or even group happiness. Have you communal ever, happiness. We're talking about. Have you ever experienced You're talking about any, communal happiness. Have you, That's all that? yeah. have you ever experienced that? Happiness? <laughs> Communal happiness? No, your own happiness. You oh, your own happiness? A few times, but you know. A few moments. It what fades. Were the, what were the special moments that made you happy? Uh, you? When I struck out Dave Hollins three times in a game. That but you didn't know he was going to be in the World Series later when it happened. Though. No, he was already a well known. He was all you're Western the, New York in football. All, all yeah, everyone knew about Dave Hollins back in the and 80s. You didn't know he was going to be in the World Park. Series, though. Eventually. No, I didn't know he was going to be that good. I didn't yeah. know he was going to be an all star, you know? I didn't know that, but. Guy couldn't touch my deuce. Now that made me happy. Yeah, that was a classic moment in your life. And then after that, it was kind of. That was yeah. basically. What about Ann Hanneman? What, what, what about sex with Ann Hanneman? It's Hanneman? been fun. Yeah. Sex with Ann Hanneman must have made you happy. Oh, I, I yeah. <laughs> all, to all the girls I've loved before, Greg, that always <laughs> makes me happy. You so Ann Hanneman, you had, you had all the great, girls. And all of them. And, God bless and, them and all. You know who out there? You know They're where. all. God bless you all. You're, you're great. So you had some happy moments with those with those broads, right? Oh. Is that what you're saying? Of course. Of Don't course. And, 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 so sports and broads, you've been happy with. Mm. Little moments of sports Oh, and, and I've been in a movie. I got my, oh, another great. Mercy. I was very happy about finding I got an IMDb page. Yeah. Oh. You know, a lot of people pay for that. Why are you so and happy mine just about popped it? up on the screen. From Mercy? I got, yeah, because I got a credit for it. That's wow. why. It made you feel good? Yeah, I said, proud? well, look it up there. My sister doesn't have one, and I do. Do you feel like... <laughs> Do you feel like doing mm-hmm. the the Greg Sterling show and Sirachi Sterling has meant, meant anything to you? Is oh, there, over the years, of course moments? it has. Any happy moments happy. on the show? Yeah. Happy There's been a lot of show? weird moments, too, man. Like what? Like today? Oh, at that time, like, you know, certain people freak out about things, you know? Like and that what? Well, in the past shows, you know, they basically go, oh, you're interrupting my time, my space, my... Well, it's a show. Relax. Well, James Walker said to me two weeks ago, he said... Greg, being on the Greg Stroh show is useless because you, you were such a horrible host. You made the show unwatchable. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I must have been doing something Did right. You say, what's, what's the name of the show? The, yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, well, Greg, I'll exactly? tell you. I mean. Greg, I'll tell you this. The difference between like when we first did it in the 90s and now right. is you give more leeway for the guests to talk. Right. Whereas before, man, you just shouted over everybody. No. Kind of. Man. Peter J. Oh, that. God. He said I was a rock. It was. It was just like. Shut the fuck up, Greg. Well, it was about me getting my <laughs> yayas out. I guess it was, man. Did, it, did, it, did you get off? Well, I also got it was cathartic, you know, besides getting off. Cathartic, you know. <laughs> well, both, both aren't things. they the same thing, basically? No, cath- cathartic, and then, and then the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, and then when I got off, it was, I'd say, Staba. Stop it. Stop it. Because I'd be like yelling, be like, oh, you fucking people talking, you fucking bullshit. Give me, shut the fuck up, John. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, James Walker. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. That's the, name, that's the word I I'm going to make I that my ringtone. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Oh, oh. I'm in bed with Paula. She, that's all she hears is just, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Okay, on that note, we got. <laughs> I hope that's going to make it into the book. Oh, that'd be a two minutes to go in the show, oh. folks. Two minutes. Yeah. That will be in the book. Right. Emotionally satisfied. Emotionally right. satisfied woman. If you really want to emotionally satisfy her, financially satisfied. Yell, stop, 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 yell, yell, stop, yell, stop, repeatedly. The key moments. Yeah. Key, key, key intervals. Stop, right. right. Who it. loves you, baby? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, did you come? Instead of her saying, um, instead of Paul saying, "Did you come?" she'll say, "Did you stop?" Her? Yeah. <laughs> it can be a verb. It can be you know, Richard Wicka. Can be whatever Richard Wicka said he be. loved our brainstorming session. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, we did. We I did, hope it wasn't too fast we, for you. We did a brainstorming session when about Manson. About five and all minutes that. ago. Oh yeah, the whole Manson thing. Yeah, was. Oh, we yeah. Cast, yeah. I was cast and created I was zoning a movie out there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We, we oh yeah, we created a movie. Like Sharon Tate was. Yeah. Gwen plays Sharon Tate would kill you. Yeah. Idea. Let's not uh, give it away. We already said it about <laughs> ten minutes ago. Well, but maybe people missed that part. Well, we no, don't want to keep uh, no, telling like it over and over. Dave, everyone's missing all these parts. Well, no one is. <laughs> pretty much. It's going to be seen on the internet, man. It's all no, over the world. It's on the internet, but not Everyone seen by anybody. Everyone in the world will see it. It's on the internet. I like the better when we were on B-Cam Channel 18. Yeah. Well, yeah. we still are, but you don't want to go to Pam's house. No, I want to do it here at the home of the Whopper. Have you ever tried to do it at Pam's house? I don't even yeah. know where Pam... Oh, I've been to Pam's house. I like yeah. Pam's house. Well, why don't, you, why don't we do the show there? And then all right, we'll do it. Now she lives with John Blake, right? Right here on his shirt. All right, we'll do it. 
We got to do the it. The original Manson. We got to see, original Manson, we gotta see we got Manson, JB we got the new and PS, all right? PS and JB. We're going to go see PS him. and JB, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, they, they can't do anything about it. It's my show. And my son is the engineer. <laughs> oh, Windsor going to be there, it. too? Yeah, of course. He runs it. It's Greg Sterling's show. It's been going out since 1994. We can get the mask in from Hawaii to do it too. <laughs> well, the mask's name is Nessa. We raised we raised 773 Nessa. bucks to get him back Nessa. there. What, what happened to Nessa. that money? What happened to that money? It was embezzled by Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. That's how you got that charger, man. I knew it. Uh, well, I think it was two I cars. I knew it. I know two cars. That's one where of the each. second car came from. All right, folks. Well, we're going to wrap this up oh, right now. Go. I don't know if anyone wants. I, I, I'm getting, Let's wrap it up. It was, great. It it was up. good, though. Wrap it up. Get 10 I'll seconds on the, on, the other, on the clock, which is not a um, It's, it's not great official. having everybody not here. Official, Dave Staba will be signing footballs next week. <laughs> Happy basketballs Amy. At the Propeller Room <laughs> over in Darien, uh, 20, yeah. uh, Route 20, somewhere out there. Bye.